The Ryzen 7 7800X3D is still one of the best CPUs for gaming, and B850 motherboards are ideal to get the most out of it. In this video, I will compare the best B850 motherboards across five categories. Budget, Mini ITX, Micro ATX, Premium, and Overall Best for the average user. So you can pick what fits your case, your drives, and your budget best. First, let's look at the budget options for the 7800X3D. If you need the best affordable B850 board, there are three boards that stand out. ASRock B850 Pro A is simple, stable, and has what you actually need, a strong enough VRM for long gaming sessions, PCIe 5.0x16 for the GPU, and one Gen 5 M2 slot for a fast SSD. The layout is clean, and memory tuning with Expo profiles works smoothly. Stepping up slightly, ASRock B850 Pro RS Wi-Fi adds wireless and better heat sinks while keeping the same solid foundation. And for a compact setup, Gigabyte B850M Gaming X Wi-Fi gives you similar performance in a smaller board with Wi-Fi 6E and enough cooling for everyday gaming. Ultra-cheap models like MSI Pro B850MP can work, but their lighter VRM and stricter default power limits make them better for light duty than long heavy gaming runs. For me, the budget board that makes the most sense is the ASRock B850 Pro A. This is the board to choose if you want a stable base for your 7800X3D without spending extra. It handles power delivery well, runs cool, and gives you access to next-gen PCIe 5.0 for both the GPU and one M2 slot. It has a simple BIOS, reliable fan control, and all the key ports for a mid-range gaming setup. The downsides are easy to live with. The base version doesn't have Wi-Fi and audio quality is basic. If you need Wi-Fi built in, the Pro RS Wi-Fi version is worth it. And if you're working with a micro ATX case, the B850M Gaming X Wi-Fi is the closest alternative. Next, let's move to Mini ITX motherboards, the ones for small form factor builds. Mini ITX boards need to do a lot in a small space, so build quality and layout matter more than looks. The two real options here are Asus ROG Strix B850i Gaming Wi-Fi and ASRock B850i Lightning. The ROG Strix B850i gives you almost everything you'd expect from a high-end ATX board. Wi-Fi 7, dual PCIe 5.0 M2 slots, strong power delivery, and easy-to-use features like Q-release for the GPU latch and Q-latch for M2 drives. The audio section is clean and detailed, and rear I.O. includes a high-speed USB-C port for external storage. The ASRock B850i Lightning cuts the price but keeps key performance. You still get Wi-Fi 6E, PCIe 5.0 for the GPU and 1M2, and a solid 10 plus 1 plus 1 VRM design that runs cool even with a small air cooler or a 240mm AIO. For me, the Mini ITX model that fits best with the 7800X3D is the Asus ROG Strix B850i Gaming Wi-Fi. This board makes sense if you're building a compact PC, but don't want to give up high-end features. It supports fast storage with two Gen 5 M2 drives, has a reinforced PCIe slot for large GPUs, and includes 2.5 gigabit Ethernet plus Wi-Fi 7 for stable online gaming. Fan headers and USB ports are placed sensibly for small cases, which helps keep cable clutter down. The only catch is the higher price. If you're okay with one Gen 5 slot and slightly older wireless, the ASRock B850i Lightning gives you 90% of the same performance for noticeably less money. Now let's move up to Micro ATX boards, a nice middle ground between small size and full expansion. Here, the main question is how many features you want to fit in a smaller frame. Gigabyte B850M Aorus Elite Wi-Fi 6E ICE is the clear all-rounder, a strong 12-phase VRM, PCIe 5.0x16 for the GPU, and tool-free M2 heatsinks that are easy to remove. It also has plenty of rear USB ports, a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, and Wi-Fi 6E for solid wireless performance. It runs cool and looks clean in both black and white builds. 
If you want more connectivity, MSI Mag B850M Motor Wi-Fi adds Wi-Fi 7, 5 gigabit Ethernet LAN, and usually two Gen 5 M2 slots instead of one. It costs a bit more, but is better suited if you plan on using multiple Gen 5 SSDs or faster networking. Overall, my suggestion for an M80X board is the Gigabyte B850M Aorus Elite Wi-Fi 6E ICE. It's reliable, runs cool, and gives you all the features most gamers actually use. The VRMs handle the 7800X3D easily, the top M2 slot stays cool under a simple finned cover, and the ports are easy to reach. If you want to future-proof with Wi-Fi 7 or faster wired networking, the MSI Motor Wi-Fi is the upgrade path. Moving on, let's look at the premium options, the ones meant for long-term builds and top features. This group is about polish and expandability. Asus ROG Strix B850E Gaming Wi-Fi leads the pack with features that are usually only found on X-series boards. You get USB 4, Wi-Fi 7, 5 gigabit Ethernet LAN, and multiple Gen 5 M2 slots under solid heatsinks. The VRM design is very strong, so temperatures stay low even in heavy workloads. It also includes all the usual Asus build aids, easy release GPU latch, QLEDs, BIOS flashback, and well-placed fan headers. MSI MPG B850 Edge TI Wi-Fi offers a similar high-end experience with a clean silver design and lots of high-speed USB ports, while Gigabyte's higher-end RS boards give you close to the same specs for a bit less money. Overall, the premium board that makes the most sense for me right now is the Asus ROG Strix B850E Gaming Wi-Fi. Choose this one if you want every feature possible on the B850 platform. USB 4 opens the door for fast external drives or capture gear. 5 gigabit E and Wi-Fi 7 cover both wired and wireless connections, and the multiple Gen 5 slots future-proof your storage. The BIOS and hardware design make it easy to work with, and cooling on the VRMs and M2 drives is excellent. The only drawback is the cost. It's not cheap, but it feels complete. If you prefer a different style or want to save a bit, the MSI Edge TI is a strong alternative. Finally, let's go over the overall best choice, the board that makes the most sense for most builders. In this category, three boards stand out. MSI Mag B850 Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi, Gigabyte B850 RS Elite Wi-Fi 7, and AS Rock B850 Steel Legend Wi-Fi. All three are well-rounded ATX boards with solid VRMs, good cooling, and modern connectivity. The Tomahawk Max wins out because it strikes the right balance. It has dual Gen 5 M2 slots, Wi-Fi 7, 5 gigabit Ethernet LAN, and strong VRM cooling that stays quiet. The layout is clean, the BIOS is easy to use, and it includes features like debug LEDs and BIOS flashback, which make building and upgrading simpler. The Gigabyte Aorus Elite Wi-Fi 7 is a close second, often cheaper, with similar performance but one fewer Gen 5 M2 slot. AS Rock Steel Legend Wi-Fi is another good alternative if you prefer white builds or want a slightly simpler setup. Overall, the board that makes the most sense for most users is the MSI Mag B850 Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi. It's reliable, well-equipped, and doesn't waste money on things you won't use. You get high-speed storage, fast networking, and a VRM that stays stable even in long gaming sessions. The BIOS tools are beginner-friendly, and the board layout makes cable management straightforward. For most builders, it's the easiest choice that just works. So that covers my suggestions for the best B850 boards for the 7800X3D in every category. Before you hit buy, here's how to choose fast and choose right. Decide your form factor first. If your case is ATX, the Tomahawk Max lands the cleanest balance for most people. If you want everything and then some, go ROG Strix B850E. For micro ATX, Aorus Elite Ice is the great value. Mortar is the no compromise M80X if you'll use Wi-Fi 7, 5 gig LAN, and that extra M2. For Mini ITX, decide if dual Gen 5 storage and Wi-Fi 7 are worth it. If yes, ROG Strix B850i. If no, B850i Lightning.